This is our carapincha or curry leaf plant tree. I'm going to be experimenting kind of just because I've never done it before, but I know it can be done a couple of ways on how to make more of these babies. So I found something really amazing that I want to show you. Uh, but first thing, I'm going to try and this um, branch right here, I think I'm going to like cut it in two and try and uh, root it, um, which I will show you. I have another one over here that's like double branched. Um, this one might actually be able to be dug out, but I've done it before without success. So I'm not sure if I'm going to deal with that one, but this one over here, for sure I'm going to. But the most amazing thing is this. These are the berries or fruit of the curry leaf plant. Now, Yes, there are seeds in there, and yes, you can plant them to make more. However, do not eat the seed because they are toxic. So do not eat the seed, just plant the seed. Um, you can eat the fruit on the outside. It's actually really good. It has a kiss of curry flavor on there, which, you know, oh my gosh, would make like a great jam. Uh, anyway, so... I'm probably just gonna eat all those and save the seeds and, and um, plant all of those as well too. But uh, here we go on our journey to make more carapincha babies. Also, I have done this before, but these are what holds the leaves, the little baby stems of the leaves. I have soaked these in water before and they never rooted. And actually I've never seen it done on such a thin stem but I'm going to try anyways to see if I can possibly root them okay so um, I got everything I think out here we'll just do a little bit of different things here and see what happens. I'm just filling up the dirt. So get in my pocket. Wait. Make sure I get them. Here they are. Let me put you down a little so that you can actually see them up close. These are the le the curry seeds, curry leaf seeds I have. Um, I got a couple more berries on there, like literally I think just a couple. But I'll wait for them to ripen before I eat them. Now, what we know is that typically you want to plant the seed double the depth of the size of it so whatever i'm just going to shove it in the dirt and we're going to see what happens um these can be put in uh like this i don't have to wait for them to dry or anything like that let's see matter of fact I just get me a little stick from the ground and we'll do it this way. That looks good. Just let them fall on in.
I think I'll, uh, maybe I'll see what, what I can just put over them out here. I don't know. I'll make that decision later. Okay, so that's step one, seeds planted. Okay, these little ones, I don't see anything happening. I just put these in water like last week. So we are gonna, let me see how many we have. One, two, three, six, eight. So I think I'm gonna put like, maybe four and four in, in um, this little, I don't know if it's four inch or what it, yeah, four inch um, pot. Um, I'll just put four and four in these. Since this, I've never seen it done with such a small twig. Um, we'll see if it works. And then if it doesn't, I haven't wasted a lot of space, time, or energy on um, making anything happen with these. There. These I've already like slice the bottom up, you know, skinned them, the ed the bottoms. So I'm just gonna take them off, just water that. And I have some rooting powder. So I'm gonna dip them in there. Okay. show you this I suppose I'm just gonna see that looks good so I'm gonna do like that with all of them okay so that's how we're gonna do that and uh, for sure I'll get um, for these I'll probably get some water bottles and put them over the top. Yeah. So I'll just kind of turn these babies a little inside so it'll fit better. Yeah. Okay, and this one. Okay, so there's those. Then I'll get um, that big stem. Okay, so I cut me off this thing, this branch. Um, I think I will just take it. Where am I gonna take it from? Maybe right here looks like a good spot. Okay. I got my little cutters. Um, now we're gonna strip all these and I don't know, maybe I'll put these in the dirt too, some of them anyway. Maybe I won't, but either way, I'm going to take them inside because we will use them for cooking. I think I'm going to, these ones, I'm just going to like cut them back a little bit. I could strip it. Maybe I should just strip it, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go from here and here and there. So that's what I'm gonna leave. Later on, if I see these leaves are not looking happy or whatever, then I'll just pull them off. Now I need to strip the bottom of this. My trusty tool. Don't judge me, it's all I have. But I need my glasses again so I can make sure I do this right. So I can see. Um, I 
I need a good knife, like a good flip, flippy knife for out here when I'm out here cutting stuff. So if you guys have um, a suggestion, please put it down in the comments. Something flippy and easy for me to stick anywhere um, and be able to use for, you know, cutting cabbages or slicing off the bottoms of these or whatever. So we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go to here. Let me see if I can get you to see this. It's not like you probably haven't already seen this, but, okay. Just taking the little barky off. Now what I'm doing is I'm just, uh, put you back up. I'm getting all the powder like on the side so that it gets on higher up on this um, stem. And then I'm just gonna slide it right in. There we go. Kiss for good luck. Okay, we need that. Now this one, okay, so that's how we're leaving that one. This one's got a really thick, this was the part that was um, up against the main trunk. So, okay, I'm going to leave some of it just because, well, simply why not? Again, tipping over the rooting powder, just sliding it in there. There we go. There we go. Another one ready. We'll see what happens. Um, I am planning to do this with uh, my cherry tree and my apricot tree that's right there. That's the apricot. Um, I don't remember the name of it and I don't even know if it's on there, but it's it's one, you know, the apricots are both small, but it's the one that's like, it has a kiss of rose on it, like a kiss of red on it. Uh, I think that's the one, cause I, I planted two, um, this kind and the, you know, plain apricot one, uh, but the gophers got one of them. So I'm gonna do it with this one in the cherry tree. Well, I suppose I could do it with my plum too. Anyway, little by little, you know? Um, so, I'll get plastics on them and we'll go from there. Uh, one of the uh, bigger stemmed, I ended up cutting everything off because if you look right there, there was a branch coming out here, but up above is a bud that already wants to come out. So, anyway, this is what I'm doing greenhouse effect. Um, get it in there good. I'll get the rest of them covered up and uh, then I'll show you. So here's how I have them. Some of them um, I didn't have plastic for. 
So I got some stips, sticks from the uh, yard and just wrapped some saran wrap around them until I can find um, an extra bottle or like this, this would be great for like a, a strawberry package or something that would make a good cover for this one. So anyway, this is where we're at with all of these. I'll give you an update as soon as I have one.